Hills, it's it's an old company house, but it's home. And if something happens to it, you can't replace it. Wayne Whitaker grew up right here on Straight Hollow. It is in the cold camp of Daint, Virginia, and his family is part of the history here. Today, the sun shines above his family home, but on February 6th, heavy rains came down that caused the hillside to start moving. While that alone was a concern, at the top of that sliding hill sat a giant boulder. The call was, there's a rock up here on the hill that's going to take the house out. The rock had broken from a cliff and landed on an old mining bench, all remnants of historic mining that took place in the 1930s and 40s. That meant a call to Virginia's abandoned mine land team as well. We were on the front side of the really scary. Inspector Heather McDonald Taylor was one of the first on the scene. So essentially the rock was sitting on the edge of the slope and the slope below the rock was beginning to erode away. Virginia's mine safety team and local authorities were called in to encourage those below this slope to evacuate as a precaution. There were two major concerns. The rock could fall and destroy the homes on this street or land in the creek and flood the community. I think the coordinated effort with the department was amazing. Within two hours, crews were on site to first control where the water was flowing so the slide would stop moving and then remove the rock. The safest solution was to hammer the boulder into smaller pieces. In three days, the threat of that rock was gone. Nobody wants to see a disaster in their community ever. But I think what happened here was an awakening within the, all the departments. And I think the community realized that they had a friend in DMME. Unfortunately, before work to permanently stabilize the slide was complete, another threat came into play, COVID-19. The team moved fast. The world was shutting down with COVID. Southwest Virginia was shutting down with COVID. So every day we were coming as fast as we could because suddenly we had this additional concern that with all the executive orders coming out that we might actually be shut down from working. But thankfully that didn't happen and we were able to get it to get it finished. And thanks to just over $246,000 from Virginia's abandoned mine land program, residents here say they feel safe again. It's home again. <laughs> yeah, you can go in here and lay down and go to sleep and not have to worry about it.